Hello everyone, Pallytum here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Hope you guys are doing very well today. In today's video, we're taking a look at amazing Daniel himself, Asmodan. I've been running into a lot of trouble with enemy teams just deathballing, just grouping up in a tight clump of five, and walking towards my base every single game. We've tried out a few different experiments to see what would work. By the way, I think Gul'dan would still be excellent against this kind of uh, enemy strategy. But the most obvious answer was right in front of my face the entire time. Asmodan has a talent called Gluttony. If he dunks enemy heroes, he gets more of his annihilation. He doesn't necessarily have to last hit enemy minions to build up annihilation. And there are several talents that support hitting multiple enemies at the same time. So I decided today was the day we were going to give it a try, and this is what happened. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we will be back again very soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Hanumura Temple today. The friendly team, Amazing Daniel and Daniel. <laughs> Diablo, Artanis, Kaltazan, the enemy team, Blaze, Lili, Leoric, Nazibo. And a Samuro as well. We're going to go for Gluttony at level 1. I've been trying to theorycraft characters that are fun to play versus death balls because that's all I'm going against and it's starting to get really frustrating. So, to combat this problem, we're going to try the Dunk Master himself. Going for Gluttony at level 1 gives me more Annihilation every time I hit a hero with our Q ability. We can also gain Annihilation for last hitting minions with our Q ability as well. So if this is looking low... Yeah, not quite low enough. There is a little bit of a wiggle room with that. If you don't, we need someone top. If you don't get the last hit, there is like a second you can play around where you can still kill off the minion and get something. We're going to channel our E ability into Leoric as he goes to scurry away. Two seconds left on our next dunk. Let's just send it at the wall. Perfect. So we're at 16 Annihilation right now. Our goal at the end of this game is to fully stack our quest. That's pretty hard to do on two lane maps, but maybe the hero stacking will make up for that. Uh, let's go ahead and just channel the beam on Nazebo. No one's pressuring him at all. Let's give him a reason to back up as they regroup in front of the towers. Throw another dunk. Send it down. I don't know how Kel'Thuzad fares versus Samuro in the top lane, but I hope it's, I hope it's well. Enemy team grouping up on the side again. We get another dunk. Uh, we should also be putting our trait up here every minute that we can. Dunk coming off cooldown. And look at this. They're grouped up again. Thank you. <laughs> our Tannis does need some help getting away, so we are going to walk in front of that blaze stun there to make sure he's not chased down. Our mana department is being laid off. But if we go ahead and grab that sippy cup, we'll be right back in the thick of things. They grouped up really well for me. Again, we're at 62 Annihilation right now. That I feel like that's ahead of where I normally am. I feel like that's not bad at all. They're continuing to push forward. We're going to send it. Our Tannis going in for the swap does not quite connect. Leoric moving in on us. Let's just tickle him with the red spaghetti real fast before he starts to back up. Looks like Nazebo's out of mana, but choosing to stay in lane. I love to see that. Unfortunately, I'm almost in that same position. We do see a good swap from Artanis moving into the front line of that enemy team. Uh, I'm going to back now that we have the warning. We should also immediately go for our samurai to try and keep... <laughs> I like how... <laughs> <laughs> I like how all of that was just playing out around me. <laughs> we should go for the Samurai every time it's off cooldown. And we want it pushing before the objective starts. Uh, let's go for Army of Hell. Summon an additional Demon Warrior. This will just make it so our W ability actually has a little bit more oomph with it. I haven't pressed my W yet. I should probably start doing that at some point. It just sends two little denizens of hell forward. They were immediately sacrificed. You hate to see it. Enemy team rotating down. We'll go ahead and get some Annihilation off of them, bringing us up to 92. Enemy team starting to group up here with the objective, moving it forward. But they did not get their Samurai, so we're actually going to push harder than them with that Samurai if they don't answer it. Like, it will be a more effective objective than the objective. However, that being said, several members of the friendly team are down right now, so um, I'm going to mount up and go to the top lane. 
we can go ahead and put our trait up there while we are in transit as well that objective is done no sense crying over spilled milk we might be able to get a last hit here fuck it fuck it i hate everything oh it's so bad uh, these camps actually give a ton of XP, so if you ever find a second where you think you can take one of these, it's probably worth your time. Once we hit level 10, we're going to be able to clear minion waves with our Q very, very easy, but in the meantime, we need to make sure that we're still hitting heroes with this. We only seen Nazebo down in the bottom lane, and he didn't see Diablo doing that. We do hit him with our Q, but I think he's just a little too fast for my E there. Sippy Cup is off cooldown. We can grab that now. Enemy team is getting Samurai. That's the only explanation for them being gone for this long. Uh, but we already have people up there ready to defend it as well. Go get mana, you fucking witch doctor. Get out of here. Uh, summon in a couple generals. Let's put my trade up top just to help out with anything going on up there. It looks like Leoric rotating down here. Oh, we do see Kel'Thuzad with the chain on Nazebo, and we can combo with that, no problem. Level 7 is here. Now Globe. If Globe of Annihilation hits two or more heroes, it's going to restore mana and give us more stacks. You know who often has two or more heroes around them at all times? Samuro does. We could theoretically get quite a lot of value out of this ability today. I hope that's the case anyway. As our Kel'Thuzad was rotating up, Samuro does intervene. I believe he swapped out and is already running away. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Blaze. Actually, Lili for a little bit more damage. They're layering on the crowd control right now, but so are we. Kel'Thuzad stopping their push forward, and that dunk is looking juicy. Holy shit, give me that mana back. I earned that mana. Leoric moving in with the creepy hand. We'll hit him with the red spaghetti and send another Q back at the enemy team. The Zebo is still pushing the bottom lane, so maybe we should start to back up towards that a little bit. We can stop his push fairly quickly. Especially once our Annihilation gets a little bit higher. Oh, I see the combo. I'm good. I changed my mind. I think we might be able to finish these guys off. Uh, Samuro is dipping out in every direction. Blaze re-engaging. Dunk does land. Samuro could swap. This may not even be the real one. No, real one's actually in lane above me right now. Okay, the way I thought this fight was going to play out is not how it played out at all. In fact, it is still continuing. Blaze, with just a sliver of health left right now, is going to make his great escape. We should have taken Samurai before this point, but uh, we didn't. And the enemy team actually hitting... Whoa, that was a pretty good dunk. That was a pretty good dunk. Enemy team actually beating us to level 10, mainly because this fucking guy won't go get mana. Go get some mana! Come on! <laughs> The fight is starting here already. We hit the enemy team's Lili pretty hard with that dunk there. Samuro on our back line over here. Let's see if we can get some damage out on him. Indeed, we do. Dunk is out, hitting three members of the enemy team. Let's trade bottom lane to keep that pushing in the direction that we want. Uh, can we get flip? I play off flip. Try to channel into him as well. I don't think it's going to be enough to get the kill. No, it is not, Blaze. Just barely able to escape as the Zebo's running away we'll go ahead and get another dunk on him as well we're at 222 annihilation so far uh no members of the enemy team currently dead i thought we maybe they respawned already i thought we got a kill uh we're just gonna dunk bottom and then keep pushing top with the friendly team try to use our global presence as best as we can and now that we're at level 10 we're gonna take tide of sin well i got that Tide of Sin is going to make it so our next dunk hits significantly harder so we can do big explosions like the one that you just saw. Unfortunately, our mana is pretty low. We dunk into the Kel'Thuzad combo, though, for some huge stacks. Uh, three, two, one. I might be able to dunk again on the Zebo. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, my God. You love to see it. You love to see it. Three, two, one. He's right here. Close. Uh, that's the real Samuro spinning on our Artanis over there. Let's put another trait down in the bottom lane. I need mana so bad. I'm doing the, the I'm doing the Nazebo right now. I don't want to be the Nazebo. But here we are at Samurai. I could summon in my little dudes. Those will help out a little bit. Otherwise, you're looking at 
auto attacks, 130 damage at a time. Uh, bottom lane is looking pretty spicy. Actually, no, it's not. It's looking spicy for our team. I'm going to hold that dunk. Uh, I will go ahead and activate my ult now. Let me get in range. Activate my ult now and send it at this new wave. If we do that, that should clear it, no problem. Keep that moving in towards the enemy team. Okay, going back for mana. Tide of Sin does have a 20 second cooldown. It makes our thing do 50% more damage. That's a lot more damage. It's really, really good. We're also at 274 stacks of Annihilation right now. Enemy team's Leoric is moving up. Samurai by his side. Can we kill this thing off? Let's try. It would help if I put my cursor on it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we could shove top lane back pretty far. I don't even think I really need the Globe of Annihilation for killing this minion wave. Leoric up here by himself. We see Samuro and Zebo down in the bottom lane with Blaze and Lily as well. So they're grouping up. Uh, we are almost in range for a dunk. A great life grip keeps our Kel'Thuzad alive. There's the dunk. Woo! 835 damage to that enemy back line. Hey, Nazebo. How you doing, bud? We can dunk this and clear it pretty fast as well to continue getting those stacks. The spider vase from Nazebo just barely missing us. Blaze could have stunned us there. I'm very glad that he decided not to for some reason. None of these are the real Samuro. We don't have to worry about that. There they go, moving up. Let's go ahead and get another dunk there. 324 Annihilation now. The power is still growing. We shall overwhelm them. I'm going to empower that one, throw it right onto the minion wave, clear out the minion wave. They lose all momentum instantly. Meanwhile, in the top lane, we may see Leoric split pushing quite far. Artanis is respawning now. We're going to dunk right there on Lili again. Real Samuro just dipped out to the bottom, so we don't have to worry about him. I am going to get the early Sippy Cup, though. And Globe of Annihilation, this. Woo! Yeah, it's pretty good! That's pretty good! That's a lot of damage. Feel pretty good about that. Feel pretty good about that. I didn't think Kel'Thuzad Asmodan would, would... I mean, I, I thought it would be okay. I thought I would like it a little bit. Actually, just holding people down for that long is letting me set up for some fucking huge dunks uh, i'm gonna empower this one and just send it to clear this wave out immediately keep that moving and i'm killing off their walls in the meantime to lower their vision a little bit down here in the bottom lane anduin is pushing the objective we are about to help him don't you worry uh two members of the enemy team are cowering behind their tower up top or around their tower up top Samuro and Nazebo emerging here. Great combo onto the Nazebo. <laughs> Didn't flip him the way I was expecting, though. Real Samuro on the right-hand side doesn't have any clones with him. We'll be able to empower our next dunk in just a moment. Here it is, right on top of three members of the enemy team. Just in case I die, let's go ahead and put our trait up in the top lane. I don't know who I'm channeling this on, but it seems like it's doing some damage. Dunk onto them as they're moving forward. We have finished. Oh, it's only 400. I thought it was 500. We have finished our Globe of Annihilation stacks, and we're going to continue to sling them forward. Taking down the enemy team's Leoric, moving towards Lili now with another dunk. Oh, she just dodged it. Finally, she dodges one. Did it really have to be that one, Lili? I've been really building up to that for a long time. We're going to get total annihilation. It's going to increase our damage of our dunk against heroes even more. It's going to take 4% of their maximum health. That means we're going to be cutting away at the high health targets like Blaze and Leoric on the enemy team. But I mean, everyone has health. It does more damage to literally everyone. Uh, let's keep sending these forward. Looks like Samro looking at me on the back line, but decided not to chase. Artanis looking pretty low here. Let's trade top just in case we die. I have dunk, but I'm going to hold it for just a second. Here we go. It's pretty chunky. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I'm so slow. <laughs> we have a root coming out on the enemy team's Leoric. We're going to dunk on top of that. He does take the damage for it and then channel the red spaghetti on him as well. Falling back. Uh, popping my ult. Oh, yeah, a big dunk on the enemy team. Unfortunately, we're not doing much scaling any longer. We've kind of reached max, max capacity. So let's make sure we're using this to its full effectiveness. We should honestly take their samurai right now with their main tank being dead. Uh, let's make sure that we are pushing the top lane 
every opportunity we get with these dunks from here on out. Because it's not getting any stronger, we need to make sure that we're actually using it as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and channel on this. The enemy team is just beneath me. It looks like they are going to get the samurai. Actually, Diablo stopping him just short. We see... I'm going to channel on Lili. We see Samuro trying to spin and win on top of the point as well. Lili is taken down by the dunk. And the friendly team does take over that mercenary camp. If they don't respond to this right away, it can kill their entire base. Looks like Blaze might know that. Standing inside of that cut, he just barely manages to escape it. Uh, I have my next dunk empowered. I'm going to wait for the minion wave, though. I'm determining that based off of where this minion wave is. That's how we tell. I mean, I have vision now, so I can just fucking look at them. But that's why I was holding on to it. I was just keeping an eye on our minion wave, waiting for their minion wave to be stacked. Sending another dunk forward as five members of the enemy team group up in one spot. I, I guess it was actually more than that because I was looking at Samuro clones. They don't seem to be moving. I'm just going to keep sending them. Uh, we could also go get our samurai before this next engagement. I think that would be a fantastic play if the friendly team's able to walk away from the top line. If they're not able to walk away, well, let's just dunk this, summon in our trade, and make sure that we push this down while the bottom lane is completely open as the death ball is moving top. Diablo looks like he's still trying to fight a little bit there. Uh, we're okay. We just got this for free. We just did what the objective was going to do. I might start just moving up to the top lane and flank behind these guys over there if they're really not paying that much attention to this lane. I'm just going to do a normal dunk. Do I just move this? I guess. I mean, Samuro's alive. I don't think I win a Samuro trade if he's any good. I play a lot of Samuro. All right. We got their attention at least. We can start to move back. Uh, top lane, they're literally pushing up without minions, so I don't know what their in-game plan is here. As they're starting to leave top, I, I'm going to assume that they're coming to me instead. But hey, we're still doing some pretty good damage to Blaze. I'm behind these guys. They might be feeling the pressure of that a little bit. Let's go ahead and empower the dunk. Send it in right on Lili again for a thousand damage. I'm going to channel onto anyone I can reach with the laser. Looks like it's going to be Leoric this time. Dunk is ready again. Send it. Hitting three members of the enemy team. Trait up top. I'm going to channel on Lili. She's so dead. Uh, dunk blade. Ah! Okay. Now, instead of continuing this fight, we're immediately going to back away. Empower our next dunk. Uh, maybe not this dunk. Maybe we wait. Maybe we wait. Uh, max Annihilation empowers Globe. We've been Max Annihilation for 20 fucking minutes. In this 16-minute game, we've been Max Annihilation <laughs> for that long. What does this actually do? After getting forward Annihilation, the area of Globe Annihilation is increased by 50%, and it deals 125 additional damage. That's another Samurai for the friendly team moving in. The enemy team has very few buildings left at this point. And we just hit for 1,300 damage onto the enemy team's Leoric. Keep him going. Keep him flying. Keep him flying. Uh, he's spinning, so we know that's the real one. Leoric is trying to heal off of me. Let's not give it to him. Trait bottom. I'm looking at Samuro, trying to help, trying to help. Real Samuro's top of the screen. I'm waiting for next bottom wave to get here. We're going to kill it immediately. So we have dual lane pressure here heading towards the core. Uh, real Samuro still dicking around with our Kel'Thuzad. Uh, if they're going to fight top, I'm moving in here. If they're not going to pay attention to me, I'm going to make them regret that. Also, uh... Lili? <laughs> Almost call it. Almost call it. Well, we're through the shields! I think someone is AFK in their base. Someone give up. Get in there, catapults. You're doing great. You're doing great, catapults. I think I saw Blaze poke. Literally, they're not responding to me. What is going on? I feel like I finished the A through Z having a really good understanding of heroes, and then I came back to a different game. So bizarre. MVP. Well, uh, 
Yeah, I, I would say proof of concept. That was pretty good. Seven kills, 12 assists, zero deaths. I, I'm all right with that. <laughs> we did 158,000 siege, 81,000 hero damage, 21,000 XP contribution. Holy shit. And this is on a two lane map. It could have even, it could have been so much better. Could have been so much better. Now let's be used in today's game, Gluttony into Army of Hell, Art of Chaos, Tide of Sin, Chain of Command, Total Annihilation and Pride.